what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to create our hydraulics uh, model okay so specifically we will be doing sanitary uh, modeling so the first thing that we need to do if you are doing the hydraulics you need to have the architectural model so you need to ask the consultant or the architect for the model so once you have that you need to create a new project so I'm going to select new and then I'll just select plumbing template or if you have your company template just use that one and then just select OK all right so after that the next thing that you need to do is to link now that architectural model so you go to the insert tab you go to link Revit and then let's link that so select that one so I'll just use the default uh, positioning here which is internal origin to origin and then just select your open now after you link that model you can see it at the moment on our floor plan because you need to coordinate the levels of your MEP project to the architectural project okay so to do that you need to go to the elevation view let's say to the south plumbing elevation view and then observe your levels here so our MEP project has these two levels here below okay and then our uh, architectural project has these levels above so that's the reason why we can see our architectural model now to coordinate our level so what I'm gonna do is one way is just align first your first two levels to the first two levels of your architect you can do that or instead of doing that um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this and then delete that okay you will notice it will be deleted here that's alright okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select um, collaborate and then I'll use here copy monitor so let's use select link select link and then let's select the link model so click that and there you go so you are now on the copy monitor now the next thing that you are going to do is you do, uh, you select copy make sure you select multiple because we will be selecting multiple levels okay and then let us now select the levels that we want to create so I want to have the ground floor and then hold control because we are going to select second floor and then pan your drawing you can release your control and then hold again your control you pick the, uh, the next level that you want to copy select the levels and then after that select finish okay you select finish okay so there's the warning it's all right so just close that one and then you just need to go back again to your copy monitor and then you finish it here there you have it so just um, fix your level just tidy up your level so you click that one just tidy up and then um, you click and then you check that box so that you have that name of the levels so I do not want to have a level here on the left side so that's why I'm going to uncheck that box all right okay right okay next uh, I do not want to see the levels of my architectural model or the link model because it confuses me I already created the levels that I want so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the visibility graphics overrides in this view I can just type VV and then go to the Revit links select the by host view of the arch model and then make sure you custom it annotation categories click the drop down arrow select custom so this procedure is the same as setting up your M your mechanical project your electrical project okay so it's the same so let's hide the degree at uh, the levels let's look for the levels let's uncheck that one select okay and then okay there you have it okay so it's now more clear so we only have four levels here okay now the next 
part is make sure you select your link model and then check the properties. Check the properties. So make sure this is checked. This one, the room bounding. So that just in case you will be placing your spaces, okay, when you, let's say, when you decide to create your mechanical uh, design. So make sure room bounding is checked so that you will be able to place the spaces correctly. Okay, so again, this procedure applies when you set up your electrical project, your mechanical project, your plumbing project, okay? You do this way, all right? So you check the room bounding and then select OK. Next, the next thing is we don't have any views here for our plumbing because I have deleted the first two levels, okay? So to create the levels, for the or to create the floor plan for the levels that we have here so let me just change this one first so maybe I'll just make this all cups okay that's all right so atrium roof all right so there is a coordination monitor alert so this is what happens when you use copy monitor tool so because after you copy the levels from the link model using the copy monitor, you are also monitoring those levels. So this is very useful. Why? Because any changes that the architect uh, made on the levels or to the elements that you copy monitor, you will be notified when you reload that latest architectural model to your MEP project. You will see that coordination alert. Now, to see all, all of this coordination uh, alerts, you just need to go to the coordination review from the collaborate tab. So you click that, select link, and then you select the link. And then you will now see here all the changes that have been made, including the one that I have done, the couple of things that I've done, which is renaming the level. Okay, so I can just accept that. Rename, okay, I'll just accept that. Rename, and then rename. You can even put here a comment, and then just apply so that your coordination alerts will now be cleared, okay? So that no more alerts there. Then okay. Oh, why? Okay, I think I have selected the wrong one. I selected a wrong option. It's all right. I selected a wrong option there. Sorry about that. Just go back again to coordination review. Select link. Link. Okay, so instead of uh, rename, so just accept the difference. Accept the difference. Okay, then okay. There you go. Now let's create the floor plan for these levels so that we have levels here for the floor plan. Okay, so let's go to the view tab. Let's create plan views. You go to the plan views and then create floor plan. Okay, so this is the right way to do that. Okay, so this is the one. And then we will be creating floor plan. You can check here the type properties to check what is the template that is applied, which is the plumbing. Okay, this is what we need. So I'll just select your OK. All right, so let's select all of this. You can click one, hold the shift, and then click the last level and then select your OK. And there you go. So you now have the levels here. So you now have the ground floor. You now have the second floor. You now have the atrium roof. You now have the roof here. Okay. Anyway, our concern here is only the ground floor. So I'm just showing you how to do other things. Okay. Now, the next thing that we will be doing is... Um, we need to copy as well the plumbing fixtures that the architect have used in the architectural project, okay? So we need to copy these plumbing fixtures. This is where we are going to generate the uh, piping. So I'm just going to do one part of the plumbing or the piping, and then you can just do the rest as your exercise. But first, we need to copy all of these plumbing fixtures that we have in our architectural model. Okay, so that is what you do next. So let's go to the 3D view so that we can see all the uh, elements there. 
there you go so as you can see there's a lot of plumbing fixtures here although you can copy monitor in the in the floor plan but you can also do that in the 3d view okay so let's do this uh, maybe I'm going to click one of the levels here right click that I'm just going to hide that category I do not want to show those levels okay so let's do this so let's go again to the collaborate copy monitor let's select the link click there you go so let us now use copy and then make sure you select multiple because we are going to select multiple elements like this there you go select and then let's filter it we only want the plumbing fixtures for that check none just select the plumbing fixtures and then select your okay okay so all the plumbing fixtures are now selected wait why is it, why is it i can't select this i think it's already selected hmm. for some reason it didn't select this plumbing fixtures anyway just make sure you hold control when selecting select carefully Okay. Right. Okay. So I want this one as well. Click. Click. Right. Last two. All right. So after you select now all the plumbing fixtures that you want to use, so just select finish. Then there's a warning again. Maybe. Okay, so let's just wait. Okay, so no warning. So let us now go to the copy monitor and then finish it. Finish. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, I can now select this plumbing fixtures. Alright, so you are now set. So after you copy monitor all the plumbing fixtures, so the next thing that we are now going to do is let us now start putting some pipes on our plumbing fixtures on that next video that we will be doing, okay? So for now, just do this. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.